In the summer of 2021, we accidentally started a recycled golf ball company. I say accidentally because we had no idea the road that we were going down when we decided to purchase and resell 20,000 shag golf balls. At the time, I didn't even know what the word shag meant in the context of a golf ball. So what started out is buying 20,000 shag poor quality golf balls on a Friday, selling out of them on a Saturday, quickly escalated into buying one pallet of unsorted balls of all different grades, uh, selling them out. And then a few months later, that turned into selling 50,000 golf balls in a month. And one year later, we are selling 50,000 golf balls a week. However, there's something that's been nagging me in the back of my mind the entire time. I have never played a round of golf before. I'm selling a product to people that I have no idea about. I don't know the terminology, the culture. Heck, I don't even know the full rules of the game. I want to change all that, and I want to be competitive while I do it. What follows is our journey from never picking up a golf club. You have to understand we've never played before. So from never picking up a golf club to hopefully playing a successful round of golf and everything in between from purchasing golf gear to learning about the courses. Basically, we're gonna document the entire process. So what entails after this is our first lesson. I hope you enjoy it. All right, Rami, what do you, what do you have in your hand? Tell, tell, tell me, tell, no, 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 the, the clubs. The clubs? Yeah, yeah, tell me, tell um, me what these are. Well, I know the numbers on there are, are the iron numbers, but I have no idea the terms of relativity with that. I'm assuming weight of the head? No. No? Um, Come on, you gotta give it another guess. Another guess? Uh, size. Nope. Doesn't I mean, kind of, but no. Okay. Loft. It's like how, how, how high you can get them up? So, so is it like the, the curvature? Exactly. Ah, so okay. like every club when it's set up <clears> at, <throat> Um, square at impact has a certain loft percentage like a pitching okay. wedge would be like a 47 to 49 degrees and nine iron would be like 45 degrees and the higher the number gets the less degrees that <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. that it has. I, I it's so funny because I believe you. you know, it's I'm so, not gonna. <laughs> I don't. I. This is the last thing I want to crowd y'all's head with on the no, first no, day. No, no, just, no, it's cool. Like I, I'm so. Like, I just wanted to establish that we really don't have any idea. Of what we're doing, <laughs> so I just wanted to hear a joke of like. You know, that's cool though. What no. is that? It's gonna be a lot, like a lot of fun. Like I said, there's not much to it. I totally forgot though about etiquette. There's a lot of etiquette rules. Oh, okay. In golf. Okay. Like for example, we're about to go to this driving range where there's a ton of just like Austin guys that probably come out here every day at seven o'clock and hit balls. Yeah. So the things you have to be aware of is like talking too loud around people who are playing golf or trying to hit the ball because like the focus thing. Okay. Um, it, like people get kind of annoyed with that. So this is like people trying to take their free throw shot. We gotta put everything in like basketball terms. So like Even that. the smallest noise of someone's backswing, they'll like, they'll be like, they'll look back and be like, but sometimes it's like, you know. Yeah, it just who, depends like, with the cares. crowd that yeah. you're over there. Okay. But, um. Not top golf. Yeah, not, not top, top golf. golf. Also, another thing is shadows. When somebody's swinging, if you're walking around, you have to be cognizant of your shadow. And that's probably, this is like the only sport that you have to yeah, ever think about your shadow. Okay. Um, because if someone's swinging right there, like where that leaf is, mm -hmm. and they're about to hit the ball and I go like this, they're like, oh, <laughs> it's the weirdest feeling, oh, okay, you know? Okay. It kind of like throws off like their perception or, mm -hmm. okay. So just shadow and talking are the only two like real rules for like driving range etiquette. Yeah. Um, but we're at Jimmy Clay in Austin, Texas right now. So, And away we went on our adventure. Our next stop was going to be to stop at the shop and pick up some gloves. Uh, and I wasn't exactly sure the reason as to why we would need the gloves, but hey, we went and got them anyways. All right, so we'll need a glove to wear. I don't know why we will need one. However, our tour guide Noah through this journey of golf was very quick to explain to us the vital importance of having a golf glove. So we're talking about a golf glove. I was like, I was telling Sammy, if I was at the nicest course in the world with the nicest golf clubs in the world and I didn't have a $17 glove, I couldn't even play. That's how important having it's like playing it's like having a baseball glove. Like you can't really okay. play the sport without it. You gotta have that proper grip. Yep. That's all in the grip. Well that that, that club's gonna fly out of your hands and go hundred yards down the fairway. <laughs> Alright, here's some balls. Uh, 
I've probably done this right here maybe like 5,000 times in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now those range balls did look like they needed to be retired by now, but hey, that's neither here nor there. Right after this, we went straight over to the range and began the lesson. So my sport of choice is usually basketball. I've been playing since I was a teenager and there's a lot of running and jumping and sprinting and lateral movement. So it comes as a you know no brainer to me that yeah, I need to stretch my legs, I need to stretch my arms, make sure I'm nice and limber for the sport. But the first thing that comes to my head in golf is not that I need to be stretching. And boy, was I wrong about this. Unbelievably wrong. Actually, by the time that we were finished with this entire lesson, I was so unbelievably grateful to Noah that we actually started with these, uh, you know, we started with these stretches first and foremost. So I believe we started with, uh, you know, our arms first, then we moved over to legs. Uh, back is very, very important too. So this is us stretching. Um, so the first tip before we get started is head placement and stability. The most important Thing. No matter what you do in your golf swing, the only thing that's fully consistent with every golfer ever is their head, every good golfer, is their head stays still. So if you watch me, like, uh, here, let me put that just a little bit. If you watch, when I bring the club back, my head's still. Through impact, my head's in the same place. It's still. Mm -hmm. okay. Through the ball, I come up. But my head doesn't. Until you make up. contact, you know. Yeah. Everything. So the only way, it's like baseball. If you watch somebody swing a baseball bat and that ball's coming, they're here. Mm -hmm. They're not, or they're not, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because the more you move your head, you got to get your club on the right plane and then you keep your eye on the ball and your head stays still the whole time. If your head starts moving, you lift the ball, hit it on the hosel, you catch it that way behind the ball. But well, it's gonna it's, it's it's a process. Yeah. But that's the first thought. So okay. in golf, swing thoughts are humongous. Like even the Tiger Woods has swing thoughts before he hits a ball. You're thinking about what you're supposed to be doing, right? Instead of just aimlessly trying to hit it. So keeping your head still is the first rule. Okay. Okay. So let's, let's start with with stance and posture now. All right, so after our quick little tidbit about our head placement being one of the most vital things, if not the most vital thing, whenever we're talking about our golf swing, Noah brings us over to start working on our stance and posture. Now, uh, Noah says just like you know any other sport, posture keeps you in a ready position to compete. So let's say in basketball, it's getting ready to defend or take off. And in golf, it's really no different. Uh, the proper golf stance, now I'm gonna recap this to kind of remind myself and make sure that I can remember all the things uh, that I learned in the lesson is something like this. So the legs are a little more than shoulder length apart with a slight bend in the knee. Uh, you have to stick your butt, butt out, that's really important. Uh, your back should be straight and your feet should be pointed outward a little bit, maybe like five to 10 degrees. Now I'll have to uh, show this to Noah and make sure that my recap was correct. All right, after we get the stance down and I promise you that we worked on it, but I'm gonna just do a cut. We learned how to properly hold the golf club. So now the first thing he's telling us right here is he says it's gonna sit on the inside of your palm. It's basically gonna be sitting on the bottom pad of your hand. He's pointing to it right there on the inside, following that line. And uh, whenever it's whenever you're holding it in front of you, you should see two knuckles facing up at you. So he's gonna show, let's see where he shows, we're gonna turn it over right here, turn it over. We should be able to see your two knuckles. That's one of the main things that he's pointing out to us. See right there, two knuckles. Once you have the grip properly, you should see those two knuckles. Seems like a really important thing to do. All right, and then uh, he's explaining, you know, the reasons as to why you're holding it that way. And then here in a second, he is going to show us what we're supposed to be doing with our offhand. Okay, so we're gonna take that offhand 
and we are going to place it where our pinky basically overlaps with what you know is our index finger right so pointing out right here here's the pinky over the index finger and then I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit once you grab it you are going to uh, be pinching it with your thumb you should be pinching it with your thumb with that off guide hand and that is what makes a uh, a good grip and he's just going back and forth like critiquing saying hey you need to fix this you need to fix that this looks good that looks bad mostly it was bad because hey we don't know what it is that we're doing just yet so we got our stance down we now know how to hold the club and feeling a little bit more clued in it was time for a water break and did i mention that it is in the middle of summer in the texas heat and I also wanted to say and mention um, that during this learning how incredibly taxing the entire thing was on the body. And I was completely surprised by that, holding all these different postures, contorting my body in such a way that, you know, I was, I was not used to. Uh, so I just wanted to say, do not sleep on the physicality that is required to play this game. It's, it's pretty immense and uh, really surprised me. This is where it starts to get real and incredibly difficult. So Noah is teaching us here that whenever you go for that swing and you're bringing it back, the most important thing is to keep that left elbow straight. Do not bend it or else it's gonna flub up the entire thing. All right, we've got the stance down. We've got how to hold the club. We are keeping our left elbow straight. And I go through a couple of reps here, bringing it back, bringing it down, bringing it back. So far, so good. This is still not the hard part, but we're just giving it a couple of practice. He's telling me to bring it up to a certain degree, turning my body whenever I'm going, keep that arm straight. And uh, just gonna give it a couple of practices the entire time. All right, so we got that down. Still not ready to hit the ball yet. We need to figure out what we do with our right arm. So the way that Noah shows us, we're gonna bring that right arm up and we're gonna put it as if we are holding a drink tray, right? We're gonna have this really, what felt to me is like a really awkward bend uh, in my elbow, right? So bringing it up as a, uh, as a drink tray. So that was kind of you know, really easy to kind of understand. And we give a couple of these uh, motions, turning that body, keeping it up. And this is going to help us whenever we actually, you know, start swinging the clubs, like where our arm should naturally be. So here's us giving it a couple of shots and a couple of, uh, you know, a couple of exercises going through it. All right, so up to this point, we learn the stance, learn how to hold the golf club, know where we're supposed to be putting our weight, where we're supposed to be bringing the club up to. We did the water tray holding thing. And then now my job at this point, as Noah instructs me, is just to try and hit this golf tee that's right here. That's it, that's all you gotta try and do. Uh, look at Rami there, trying to still trying to figure this out. I still have, uh, I just missed that golf tee right there. Uh, oh, maybe I just barely hit the golf tee right there. This is one of the most awkward and hardest things that I feel like I've done whenever it's come to a sport. But here's basically just the footage of me attempting to hit this golf tee to no avail. But we're getting there. It's a work in progress, right? It's going to be a lot of fun trying to do it. So enjoy this footage of me just bringing it back. And I think I end up do hitty. Nope, I missed it there again. Yep, that's great. Okay. Let's see if I can get it on. Uh... All right, Noah's gonna come over here. He's gonna tell me, all right, th these are the things that you're doing wrong. You're not, you know, you're not facing the club towards it. And so he's giving me that instruction. And so let's just watch this and see if I can, oh, oh, barely nicked the top of it. Okay, well, let's set it up again. And let's see if I can actually, I think I do actually get a actual hit on this T here. Get out of the way, Noah. I'm supposed to see us see me hit this T. Oh, I just maybe I just barely knocked it over. Yeah, I'm struggling. Anyways, let's move on to the next section. Alright, so things are starting to get serious. Noah grabs his glove here 
And the next thing he's gonna show us is how to follow through. So this is the last piece from what I understand of the entire golf swing. We have our stance, we have how we hold it, where our head is supposed to be, where we're bringing it back. And then this is the follow through and finish right there. What a beautiful stance. So I'm gonna fast forward a little bit and you can see Noah just absolutely launched this thing. It was rather impressive on the first. All right, Sammy, get out of the way because Noah's lining it up and he is about to launch this thing. And that thing went so far, I lost track of it. I'm not sure if it ever came down. And that's how you play golf. <laughs> that's impressive. And the anticipation is killing me up to this point. I am ready to hit the ball, but we need to practice that finishing. And that turning the body and the twisting of the toe and keeping the left foot planted, man, is that an awkward, awkward feeling and something that I'm gonna have to get used to. So he's also saying right here is that you should feel basically all of your weight on that left foot. And so what he's having us do is lift completely up to just put it put it all on that on that left foot. And it feels as awkward as I look right here. And so we're just going through multiple times of this twist and bringing the club back. Uh, this, it's, it's an overload of information, but with practice, you know, I, I do feel that we're gonna get there. I am having a great time up to this point and we're getting even closer to actually hitting the ball, um, but it doesn't go particularly well. So here we go, we're lining it up and you know, let's see what happens. All right, so I'm getting good feedback from Noah here. He's trying to coach me through how to bring that back. So I think I give it a shot here, shaking my head saying, yeah, this does not feel right. And here we, oh, yep, that was uh, not great. <laughs> all that build up, all that build up to finally hit a ball and it does exactly that. So <laughs> just as proof to show you, yeah, we don't know so much what it is we're doing, but so we're gonna line up another one and we'll see how it goes. All right, maybe feeling a little bit more confident on this one. I'm in a good stance, I'm getting good feedback, and I keep bringing that right foot up, and I think that's messing with me. And also my wrist in my right hand seems to be messing me up, and then, you know, just doesn't look good again. So that's why we're out here practicing, trying to work on it. All right, let's give this another shot. Coach Noah is trying to tweak a couple of things. I feel like a lost cause at this point, but I'm trying to listen to everything. Say I need to keep my head up, looking at the ball, and give it a little, you know, couple of couple of practices, and let's see how I do on this one whenever Noah gets out of the way. All right, so there he's out of the way. He's gonna block the shot a little bit, but this is probably, unfortunately, my best one. I got some distance on it, but it went, you know, to the right, didn't head straight. Didn't go in the air, but that was the best one. And now it's gonna be Rami's turn. And a swing and a miss on the first one. He's a little bit embarrassed, but he's he's gonna get there. Actually, he's gonna hit the ball much better than I do, but that's after he takes a couple of really bad swings. And, whoa, missed it, the ball again. Getting a little bit frustrated. <laughs> Noah goading him on the, the camera there. So he's gonna come in, he's gonna tweak a couple of things, and let's see how he does. Spoiler alert, it's not much better. Whiffs the ball again, he's getting a little bit more frustrated. Noah's gonna come back in and make a couple of more adjustments. So if if I recall, he's uh, turning it over a little bit, making sure that the knuckles, you know, you can see them, if I, if I recall correctly, uh, putting proper placement of the club, facing it the right way, uh, making sure that the weight of uh, is placed on the inside of, of your foot, uh, you know, kind of coaching him along. And I think eventually Rami finally does get one. Uh, just kidding, he whiffs the ball. You know, we might talk about frustration or it was getting frustrated. There wasn't an ounce of frustration. And in fact, you know, Rami looks back at the camera, he's laughing. I mean, we are having a great time. We're, we're not upset, we are not annoyed. We're, we're having an awesome, awesome time learning a brand new craft from the very beginning and, and having the ability to be introduced to something that you've never experienced before. I mean, it's something that, you know, people people wish that they could 
read their favorite book again. People wish that they could watch their favorite movie for the first time again. You know, people want to have those first moments again. And I, I feel very blessed and very fortunate that we get to have this, you know, this is our first moment of, of playing golf and, and man, we sure are enjoying it. We're not frustrated. You know, we're in it for the long run. We're trying to actually hit some golf balls and have a good round. Now, I would like to tell you that the fifth time is a charm, oh, but in this case, it is not. So I did notice that Noah had that glove underneath Rami's arm to keep his arm in the right place if he has a lot of trouble with that right hand or with that right arm. All right, after making some camera adjustments, it was perfect timing because wham, Rami hits the ball and much to Noah's astonishment, it goes pretty far. It wasn't bad, he finally hit the first one. It only took about six tries. We're all super excited. I mean, that that was a real moment of elation for everybody to see that ball go finally. It was it was awesome. So now I'm gonna go back up and try and hit it. And I wish I could say that it went the same, but it goes much, much worse than the previous time hitting. I struggle. So I step up to the plate and for my first swing, oh, complete and total whiff. I, I keep uh, lifting my right foot up too and then it looks like my wrist is messing me up. I'm not bringing it down far enough. I whiff it for a second time. Uh, not getting frustrated, it's just, it's such an awkward, awkward motion and there's so many components to it that I'm trying to remember. Noah's gonna try and critique me here. Apparently I'm having a lot of issues in my waist, like I am not twisting my hips the way that I am uh, supposed to. And so this is one of the things that we're, we're practicing on. He uh, makes sure that my feet are uh, well apart, that I'm putting the weight in the right place, and then twisting those hips. The twisting of the hips was the most awkward thing for me, is, is trying to get that motion. Um, and so I think that that is one of the reasons why I struggled quite a bit. And so I'm gonna give it a couple of, of pullbacks here. Uh, don't really know why, I just felt like the need to do it. I'm probably way overthinking it at this point, and let's see how my the next shot goes. And it flies to the right. It doesn't get any air. I seem to be having, you know, a similar similar issue. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna keep practicing. We're gonna keep going. So I continue to take some more shots, keep practicing them, trying to get everything down. So much stuff to remember, and a lot of them just start to look like that. Um, it says we're getting close. We're getting really really close. Uh, it started storming uh, out there in the background. I think there's a lightning that's coming up. Uh, here it is, right. There, man, look at that lightning in the background. So we were actually playing. It was very, very beautiful with that off in the distance. I, although probably keeping big giant metal clubs in our hands, uh, probably not the best idea. All right, so it's getting close to the very end of the session. And after Mr. Miyagi has told us to wax on, wax off, paint the fence and wash the car, he says, all right, put everything that I've taught you and start hitting some balls. And uh, I'm gonna show you the fast, you know, fast forward version of us hitting these balls. It's not very pretty. <laughs> we don't do a very great job, but it'll be fun to look back at this video from where we started. Man, Rami took that shot. I think he may have hit the person next to him. No, I'm just kidding. There was nobody there, but that went really way to the right. Uh, but we'll be able to look back at these videos and we'll be able to see where we started. And you know, I'm, I'm super excited excited to, uh, to, to see where it goes from here. With that being said, here is 30 seconds of us hitting the ball really, really poorly. So that's gonna do it for the video. Here is a backdrop of you know what we played against as we were hitting the balls and off in the distance. Thanks so much for watching the video and to send you off, I will let Noah do the talking. And that's how you play golf. <laughs>